all right welcome back to another episode of our guild one playthrough in nightfall and we are back with rosier the mesmer oh how we missed our mesmer dervish was great but we're gonna go back to what made this playlist so great was completing this um guild wars campaign run through with a single character i think that's what everyone wants to see that's what i'm interested in too because i really like playing as mesmer more than dervish dervish is great but anyway uh yeah this is the character we have gone through all of prophecies with all the factions with and we are now in yolon haven because cormier brought us to consulate docks from factions and we did that first mission so if you wanted to see all of the istan island content uh well you just need to look at the previous video series in this playlist where i played as a dervish and showed what it was like as a brand new nightfall player to play as a dervish also i did not i still don't know much about playing dervish but it was a pretty fun experience so if you want to check out those videos go ahead and do that right now i need to kind of figure out what i'm doing on this character so we we finished consulate docks we are at war with corna and in the middle of the mission uh the, the our our attack on corner went horribly wrong because varish unfairly summoned a bunch of evil demons and kind of chased us out of there we had to retreat and in doing so we lost costs so i think our first objective is we need to find a sanctuary for the sun spears and then hopefully when we get there we are able to mount a rescue operation to break costs out of prison i don't know why they took him prisoner um but yeah he's got plot armor uh it looks like in the last mission i captured this master of magic so i'm gonna put that on ascolite sosuke kind of check out some of these nightfall um nightfall spells elites this sets all of your elementalist attributes to 11. So what I can do with this build actually is I can just crank up. Yeah, I can just crank up energy storage. And then I can use any of the skills. That's pretty crazy. So he's going to have level 13 of all of his attributes. So we can give him some pretty cool, pretty cool skill actions. We can give him like... Um, yeah let me let me let me kind of decide what i want to do with his build hold on all right it took me a while to do that actually i made a pretty trolly build i think but i wanted to use a combination of these burning and knockdown skills between fire and earth they're pretty high casting time like with earthquake being three seconds but the other ones are all one second casting times and pretty short cooldowns actually so i kind of like that um i got lesser glyph of lesser energy to help with some uh energy management hopefully he uses it correctly basically what he's gonna have to do is hex them with some burning um which will synergize with ash blast and then if he can successfully get off this combo of bed of coals and earthquake that'll be another infliction of burning plus he can slow them down hopefully to where they can um uh take some of this aoe damage so i don't know it's it's the the idea is just spamming burning and uh burning burning condition as much as possible on enemies I got Aura of Restoration. For some reason, I thought it would give more energy. Why does it only give one energy? That seems pretty bad, but he has a little bit of self healing for that. He's using Master of Magic, which covers all of the skill points that's needed for this build, I think. So, oh no, this also returns 30% of energy cost. That's pretty nice. I think it'll be fun. That's the goal. <laughs> uh also in the last mission i found this gladius of enchanting that has a little bit of an enchantments duration increase so why don't we pull out our um where did it go why don't we pull out our old build oh no i will lose the health 
Oh, that's not cool. I thought... Oh, interesting. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. The pummel... The pummel is for health and enchanting. Maybe I don't want to use that, actually. Anyway, I'm going to pull back out the illusionary weapon rebuild. It's just too much fun. Let me reset that real quick. Okay, we're just about ready to hit it. Uh, I changed my build, bringing back my pet. Also, I think... Yes, this is the skill that I was told to use and I've been waiting to get. We can get a lot of great Nightfall skills starting in Yolon Haven. Starting with Hecate's Rampage. For 8 seconds, you attack 33% faster and this attack ends if you use an attack skill. We don't have any attack skill. So this is perfect for our pet uh, illusionary weapon rebuild. I'm bringing out Blackout, but now that I'm thinking about it, now that I have some real Beast Mastery synergy... I can remove the domination and just go full beast and it's almost 100% uptime and actually I can just oh it's so close yeah let's not do that um yeah almost 100% uptime but not quite um I don't need I don't need fast casting that high actually let's do that okay so I'm dropping domination Let's put up something like, um, something like, accumulated pain might be nice. Cause I do have some hex skills with synergy with Elias and Sosuke and myself. So it should be pretty reliable to get that deep wound actually. All right. We're going to run this. Very cool. I probably should bring at least one skill capture signet. But let's just try let's just try this kind of uh this build. We're gonna go Devona because she has some knockdown and she's replacing costs. So let's go. Finally, we're back. Legionary weaponry, heck it's rampage. This is gonna be fun. So we need to go to Ronjok if and what we learned in our previous playthrough with our dervish is that Ronjok is actually the hometown of Melani and she happens to have been exiled from there so we're gonna kind of figure out that backstory hopefully soon this will be fun some of this let's get our uh let's get our uh, blessing Duena, that's not great, but we'll go ahead and do. Let's get some more. Let's get some health regeneration. That's a good one. Oh, I'm so excited. This is where Nightfall really opens up. I mean, it's just such a huge area. We need to go quite a long distance, and we have insect hunt bounty. As a foreigner coming into coming into Nightfall, you automatically start off with a pretty high um whoops a pretty let me change this pretty high sun spear ranking look at that my my pet is doing like 20 damage per hit that's not bad Clumsiness still doing tons of damage. I like accumulated pain also because it's a flat 79 damage. Guaranteed. Let's turn some of this down. There you go. Really loud. Again, last episode I had some audio issues, so I hope I fixed them this time. Um, really hard to tell when it's loud in my ear. It might not necessarily be loud in the uh, post, so... Really Sympathetic Visage is just for the extra illusionary skill. Um, same thing with Ethereal Burden, but I am looking for some opportunities where I can use them. Especially against these warriors. Oh, we double aggro. Hard to tell who's getting attacked as Sosuke is getting attacked. Go ahead and rescue him. Clumsiness is great here. 
Oh, I got interrupted there. Yeah, the 30% damage or attack speed. I do so much DPS. Literally like 80 damage a second. I don't think I necessarily need to be spam. Oops, my legendary weapon got disenchanted. I don't think I necessarily need to be spamming uh, any other skills though. If I'm if I spam too many skills, then my DPS overall DPS decreases. Elias is running a Discord build which requires enemies to be under uh, the, suffering from a condition and or wait. A condition and under the effects yeah so a condition and or hex and enchantment so i think with our combined abilities um it's pretty high chance that he's going to be doing it and that's spammable almost 100 damage there armor free super spammable skill with some nice minions to soak up some damage old school discord way build Oops, we need to attack these guys. Spamming Hecate's Rampage. So with the help of my... Um, oops. With the help of my... Tiger, I'm looking at about 100 damage per second. Single, di single target DPS. As long as they're not running around and I'm not having to chase them too much. I kind of wish Hecate's Rampage gave me some uh, movement speed, but that would make it a little too overpowered, I think. That would make it an elite skill. Actually, now that I think about it, I think there is an elite skill that does that. Or is it a maybe a PV, PVE only skill? Does Oh my god, I think Nightfall has PVE only skills, doesn't it? I need to check those out. At some point you're supposed to be able to get Sun Spear skills, I just realized. Um Let me figure I need to figure out where those are at. Yeah, because now that I think about it, I think there's a, I think there's a Sun Spear only or Sun Spear PVE sk only skill that does exactly what I'm talking about, where you get attack speed and movement speed with your pet. Oh, walked right into that meteor. Oh, I don't have a legionnaire. It takes a little bit of micromanagement. I need to keep an eye on my on my um, enchantments up there. Um, can I? Let me. Might be a good idea to change this a little bit. I'm gonna do. Put this down here. I love that you can just totally change the overlay. It gets a little bit cluttered, but I need to be able to see if I have illusionary weaponry up at all times and my eyeballs are getting tired shifting up there. Getting some level ups here. Huge level of power spikes. 31. So that 31 points means that at this level, what level is that? Level 17 or 19? They're getting their plus 15 attribute points. It looks like huge. Is he using blood magic? He's using a little bit of blood magic. But not too bad. Let's just get him some soul reaping. He doesn't really need anything. Because he's using energy storage. I need to keep an eye. How, how effective is he being right now? He needs some critical strike. And she needs some scythe. Very good. 
Yeah, I'm going to need to rewatch this video to kind of get a gauge on exactly how effective. It's hard to do it during battle, you know? How effective my heroes are being at the moment. With all the protection skills, it's hard to tell who's taking damage from what, too. It gets, a, gets really chaotic really quickly with all the managing all these heroes. It comes more like a strategy game, strategy RPG, rather than a, a typical RPG. What is infuriating heat? Non-spirit creatures gain double adrenaline. Interesting. So they're trying to use some synergy between their rangers, the ranger, um, and rangers and warrior combos. You know what? I think there's another chest over here. Is that right? I'm pretty positive. Let's do some exploring a little bit. You know what? That's a little too cluttered changing my mind get back up here so he's got some pretty good energy management he's maintaining about 20 30 energy at all times and all of his skills are on cooldown pretty much but it looks like he's doing pretty well can't really see the numbers he's putting out but it also looks like the enemies always have some conditions. There's some other combos I was thinking about doing with him. Yeah, so he used incendiary bonds and then bed of coals. Really, he should be using bed of coals and then earthquake. He's not using earthquake at all, actually. Nor is he using grasping earth. So it might just be a little bit too much time consuming to get all get off all those skills before the battle's over yeah how would you change uh leave a comment below how would you change his build uh to make it use um fire and earth together there's probably some other earth and fire combinations there were some earth and air spell combinations there were some water and fire combinations Ooh, a boss um, I went with fire and earth because I thought thematically it's pretty cool. Just total destruction. Try and check who's getting attacked. It's also hard to check who's getting attacked because the minions are taking some targets. So I'm not really able to use sympathetic visage very much. Oh, I miss playing Mesmer though. This is so much fun. Look at those. I can see I can see Sosuke's uh, AoE spells. They're just sitting in his bed of coals. And it's 26 fire damage each second for five seconds. It's like a lot of damage. Should that should that cure light of the blinding? I could have gotten a new ooh snowman time. Could have gotten a new uh, monk elite skill there had I brought my signet of capture. It's definitely worth spending some time going through these areas and capturing some skills. Also, getting the bounties helps a lot. Already up to one point. Two, almost yeah i thought there was a chest attached to this fortress maybe i'm thinking of another area Let's do a quick tour of it yeah i don't think so melandrews uh the avatar melandrews avatar is capable here for the dervish anyway let's go ahead and finish this quest we're gonna have some time to explore don't worry oh yeah aren't you guys happy Roger's back. So much fun.
Yeah, I'm pretty happy with everyone. I don't think anyone's dying because you can see everyone has a morale boost. I haven't lost any heroes. So, so far, it's a pretty nice little uh, party composition. Looks like we got some new quests here. Elder Jonah. Welcome to Ronjok Traveler. You must be here for a reason because this place isn't exactly a popular tourist attraction. What all with all the current and mili militia nearby. Though you are the sun spirits who challenged Varish. I'm not surprised Zuda bobbed. Bobbed you off on me? Bobbed? What is that? Bobbed you off? I think they know the perfect place. There's some caverns. So he's showing us where a nice place where we can hide is. And speak with guardsman Bossy to gain access to the underground complex. We're getting into the area where um, this was a pretty big. I mean, this is a big area for Guild Wars 1, too. But it's also a pretty cool spot to revisit in Guild Wars 2. It's the uh, Sunspear Sanctuary, which not sunspear sanctuary yet but it's about to be we need to clear the areas to establish a sunspear command post so you can come to this exact cavern and they did a pretty good job of keeping from what i remember keeping the same layout in guild wars 2. at the fire i thought was a pretty solid expansion to guild wars 2. what do you guys think also, I've, I haven't streamed or made any episode of Guild Wars 2. If that is something you're interested in me um, reviewing, like as a Guild Wars 1 player reviewing Guild Wars 2, I would be open to do that. Obviously, I mean, we all know my answer. If I was going to choose between which game is the better between the two, I'm choosing Guild Wars 1. But um, I, I can appreciate some Guild Wars 2, especially just just uh be able to experience the guild wars world in another way it's awesome i'm glad that the game exists we'll put it that way i'm not exactly like butt hurt or anything about guild wars 2 not being exactly like guild wars 1. i will say however though if they came out with a Guild Wars 3, I really hope they bring back this kind of play style. This, um, what do you call it? Instanced, instance play style. Mission-based cooperative RPG. You know, not, not every game needs to be open world MMORPG in my opinion. Or maybe they could do something similar to Diablo 4. I'm not an expert on Diablo 4, but they could do something where like you have an instant world basically, world map, and it's open world but it's only open to you and your party of like 10 people, 8 to 10 people. That would be a pretty sweet way to do it. Whoa, what was that 158 damage? Did you see that? It's crazy. Something took double damage from my accumulated pain or uh, yeah, that was weird. Uh, missing out on a Paragon Elite skill here. It's okay, we don't have any Paragon heroes. Got another level up. Who is that this time? Okay. Almost done. We're just speeding through this, honestly. But yeah, I think that would be a cool way to do it. Um... As far as I know, that's how Diablo 4 does it, where you have the world map and it's, and it's kind of seamlessly uh, including a limited number of players that that map is, has access to. 
It'd be that idea. Whoops, I didn't mean to cast that. It'd be that idea, but obviously you would enter the server with your party. Heck yes. Gold brute sword. What do you got for me? Wow. Perfect armor plus seven elemental damage and perfect vampiric actually i think there's only one vampiric possibility i'm gonna see what i can salvage here i'm gonna try and salvage both of these nice. i think using the superior makes it 100 percent guarantee though doesn't it nice and then i can just sell it off because it's not a max damage sword but we have a pretty nice uh if i get one more yeah just do it like that we have a pretty nice sword we can craft if we get a we, we need a better inscription though not that one we need to find like a plus 15 percent damage increase based on health that one and then we can make like a perfect we can make a perfect sword That'll be awesome. Give that to Koss or someone. Uh, what are we doing? One more area up. And we will have access to Sunspear Command Post. Doesn't really feel that hidden because it's directly behind Ronjok, but... I guess, I guess we're supposed to imagine that these caverns go really deep. Right? Go really deep into here. running around ah uh, okay so these guys use frenzy that's what that damage was earlier and i need to rewatch i'm pretty sure sosuke doesn't use earthquake even one time cutscene Purity of the water is restored. And with it, we gain a base of operations. A place to rest. A place to plan. A place from which to strike back against Varish. General Morga. General Bale. How goes the search for survivors? Those traitorous Sunspear dogs are scattered across corner. We are picking them off one by one. Do you need any reinforcements from Jahai? Reinforcements? They are broken. No threat at all. No threat? I have always found the Sunspears to be very resourceful. Don't worry, General. They have no place to hide unless the ground itself swallows them. I really like General Bale's voice actor. Who is playing that voice actor? It sounds almost like Ian McShane. Let me look that up really quick. Guild Wars 1, General Bale, voice actor. Victor Wexler. Shout out to Vix Victor Wexler. Nice voice acting. He does voice... Oh, he's from Seinfeld. <laughs> Uh, he played, uh, George's boss, right? Is that who it was? That's so funny. Victor Wexler, voice actor in Guild Wars 1. He was in Seinfeld. Yeah, I recognize his voice now. Yeah, I was about to say, it sounds very recognizable. This place isn't a palace, but at least we're safely hidden from various forces. Great, great, great. Um, I have good news and bad news. The good news is that Narashi found Koss. Unfortunately, he's been taken prisoner by the Kurnans. Go meet Narashi in Arkjok Ward and devise a plan for breaking Koss out. So let's, uh... Oh, this is the next primary mission also. I think it's actually possible... No, no, this is a primary quest. I thought it was possible to, to move on without getting Koss, but it's not. We're going to do Great Escape. This will be a good ending to our episode i'm gonna remove one of these skills that i don't use and get a signet of capture let's 
let's do this one because at least sympathetic visage has some usability and i'm gonna keep these skills as i have them or my my heroes as i have them i think they're they're fine we got through that area no problem so let's just keep going i am gonna buy a key i think um also need to sell off some of these I need to sell off some of these materials. I need to clear up my space. I don't need these. Yeah. Selling off this sword. I got tons of gold on this character. I didn't realize it. Um. Okay. Card and bracer. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. What's this wand wrapping unidentified? Where did I even get that? Oh, I got it from salvaging that cane. I didn't realize using a superior salvage kit on an unidentified item gives you the excess or the upgrade, but it doesn't have it identified. 15% chance. That's not horrible, but I don't have anything I can put it on. So I'm going to sell it. And we're going to sell this and that. Cool. I'm going to figure out what I should do. I think, I think when I get a sword, I don't, I'm probably not going to use that because it's only 13%, but we got a nice vampiric sword of warding. That's a pretty sweet sword to put on. We just need a new uh, inscription. That's all we need. Give that the cost for sure. All right, I'm getting uh, keys. Also at this level, I think I can get lock picks. That might be worth it, worth the cost because I can get some reusability if I can retain them. Let's just drop some goals. Let's, let's get two of them. Okay, time to rescue our dear friend Koss. Which to do so, we need to go to Arc Jock Ward. Um... I wonder if I should warp down to Yolan Haven or go through... Let's go through this area since we haven't been there yet. We were Mesmer Ranger, so hopefully we can find a new Mesmer Elite while we're in this area. It'll be nice to try out some new builds for our player. Illusionary weaponry is too much fun though, I have to say. Yeah, I should be getting I should be getting some Sunspear PvE skill PV only skills. I haven't seen them yet. I figured I would get them here, but maybe not. I think at this stage we get some we can get some uh, new armor too. We if we ever want to change the look of our character, but I think he's fine right now. Cost and several others are being held. At in the garrison to the east, there captures an arrogant Kernan commander named Kube. All right. Where's the Sun Spears? A oh, wandering priest. There's no Sun Spear scouts here, obviously, because we are supposed to be in hiding. Narashi's using Scavenger's Focus elite skill. He doesn't come with us, though. Howard. <laughs> All right, plant bounty. It gives us an idea of what enemies we're going to be fighting. Avatar Duena again. Okay, let's go. So, it is slightly closer to go from Yola and Haven, but not too much to make any big difference. Some Paragon, Elementalists, enemies. Yeah, this is gonna be a walk. Gonna be nice when uh, my pet gets up to level 20, I have to say. He's doing only like 11 or 12 damage. These, these birds are dervish, I think. So they might disenchant my legionary weapon. You need to keep an eye on that.
No. Roy is bang. Dang. Oh, you gotta level up. You gotta level up even though he died. Level 14 now. Yeah, these these mesmers are the hardest of course mesmer enemies are give us the hardest uh the most trouble typical typical so susuke level 16 do i have i don't have any level 20 heroes yet it's taking them a while to level up so we're able to clear these max level uh area with not even level 20 characters that's pretty good we're only going to be getting stronger which is why i think master of magic was the great was the right skill to use for sosuke because it essentially makes him a level 20 sets his attributes for to a level 20 character And the Master of Magic makes him more versatile, I think, in the long run. So maybe even pop, put like a, a Rune of Major energy storage on him. And you can use him, have him use a variety of different builds with just that one rune. Instead of having him just be a fire mage or just be a water mage. And he's using Earthquake. Nice. When I get Koss, I might need to look into making him a Hammer Warrior because that synergy with Knockdown between him and Sosuke is pretty nice. We got a Staff. Illusion Magic is highly salvageable. Not even worth wasting a Salvage Kit because I'm just going to get a bunch of um, wood from this probably. Oh, four steel ingots. Okay, not bad. Turn in chests. I retained my lockpick. And we got a max damage hammer. Just as I was talking about LinkedIn's weak duration. So I need to change that inscription on it, but that's a pretty good hammer. That's when I was talking about making Koss a hammer warrior. I think it's a sign. That's a really nice upgrade for a hammer because so many hammer skills inflict weakness. I just need to find a better inscription and a better... Uh, there's one more mod that we can put on it. Maybe a health mod would be good or an armor mod. Draining, look at that. Talk to Whispers Informant. Get another bounty. Hopefully we can get like a Kernan bounty or something. Elemental. One Lightbringer. That's interesting. I can already get Lightbringer points, even though we haven't even unlocked that part of the story yet. I wonder if it's because I have Lightbringer unlocked on my account. That's interesting. That's weird, actually. So at this stage of the game, you'd be like, okay, Lightbringer point, what is that? That's funny that you're able to get it without having it even seen that part of the storyline yet. Spoiler alert. No bosses yet. Are these guys moving? They're moving a little bit. Oh, these guys are coming straight for us. That's weird. Man, 
and he stopped attacking me as soon as I put sympathetic visage up. Rescue costs. Eliminate the current scout patrols, the perimeter first. I wonder if this is optional or not. I feel like you could just rush right in and rescue costs if you were strong enough. You know what? I should have brought a. I should have been Dervish as a secondary. There's a. I'm pretty sure there's a good Dervish skill I can get here. Ooh, they're coming right after us. Perfect bottleneck a little bit. Look at that. Look at the damage Sosuke is putting up. Oh my gosh, they're just melting. They're only level 16, so we're good. Oh, this is easy. I wonder yeah i think we're right about i think they made them at level 16 because they knew your your heroes were not quite going to be level 20 yet This, this mission is going to get a little bit difficult very soon, though. I love the variety of my heroes spread, though. Like, later on, the ideal hero... Um, like team build involves just getting as many mesmers and ritualist as possible it makes it takes a little bit of the fun out of it but like here we have one two three four five six seven different classes makes it more interesting uh who got levels up Tosuke and Zenmai good job Zenmai Let's give you some more critical strike. She's using the daggers that I found before. A little good synergy with her. She's got one enchantment, so it helps increase the duration for that. Maybe makes it seven seconds instead of six seconds. I'm not sure. All right. Is there a boss here? Commander Kube is a ranger. All right. Very good. We do get a ranger elite. I guess I brought the right secondary after all. What's he using though? Barrage. Okay. I don't really need to capture that. I already have the skill unlocked. I don't really want to waste the capture signet for that. What is bombing us? All right, we got that morale boost. I guess that spotter, the spotter calls down those uh, artillery shots or something. Koss is just dancing. Look at Koss. What is he doing right now? Wow, the developers have a sense of humor here. <laughs> Why is he dancing? <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Took you long enough. I was getting tired of that Kube fellow. About near chewed through my shackles so I could shut him up myself. Things definitely went south at Gandara, didn't they? Found a place to hold up. Okay. So is he coming with us? Or we just... Yeah, we just rescued him. So we can warp out of here, I guess. Do 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 do. That's so funny. He's just dancing there in the middle of captivity. Did a goofball. What a goof. All right, Lonai, nice work rescuing Koss and the other Sun Spears. 
Uh, so now we okay. So now we do need cause for the next one, which we will do in the next mission. What do we need to do? We need to achieve Sunspear General or be one of the distinguished leaders Cormier herself recruited from foreign lands. So yeah, that's that's us. So if we were not if we were not a Nightfall character, we would have to be General. That's interesting. They made that exception. I guess. Yeah, I guess they know that we had less opportunity to get Sunspear rank points. That's kind of funny. And we'll bring Koss back into our group. What sword was he using? Oh, he's already got a perfect sword. He's got Sakai's sword that I got. Yeah, we'll keep him as a sword. Henchman. Maybe we'll hang on to this hammer for uh, whenever we get... Um another warrior hero but all right we did a lot we um we we made our footing into alona um yolon haven haven was a nice place because you can get lots of skills there i don't think there's any skill seller yeah there's no skills here um and it might be we might need to spend some time exploring these areas maybe doing some quests to get some interesting elite skills for our heroes. But other than that, um, I will see you guys next time as we move forward with our Mesmer. We're very happy to see him again. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to some more exciting Guild Wars 1 nostalgic uh, experiences here. So catch you guys later. Peace.